What's up YouTube? How's it going? I'm back again for another random video. So I just bought these two bookshelves from Canadian Tire right here. They are the five tier adjustable shelf bookcase bookshelf salt oak finish. Paid $385 for two of them. I think that's a pretty good deal. Um, the dimensions for these bookshelves, if you're asking, to anyone that will watch this video. So we got it. So they're 35 pounds each for the shelves. That's how much they hold, 50 pounds at the bottom. The dimensions are as follows. There you go, you can pause it if you need to. 36 long, 11.8 deep, 71.5 high, and it weighs 90 pounds. I bought two of these because, well, I don't like looking at brown anymore. And I just wanted to moder modernize my home a bit. So if you came across this video and you're wondering how to put these together, or you're looking at buying these, I'm not going to go step by step, that's what instructions are for. But building the second one is way easier than building the first one. So in the first step, you want to put all these holes in. And do comment down below if you have any questions. If I missed something or you have a question about it. Well, I built two of them now. You want to put these on. These are going to be at the top. And so these slide onto the shelves because the front aren't finished. So the, that slides on nice and easy. This is your bottom. Your bottom piece is always your biggest one. And you're going to drill holes into it. And then this is your top piece. Sits flush like such at the top. I'll show you the finished one. So if you see how it works here. Big one on the bottom. If you look on the top, it, you know, they could have done it both ways with the this material, whatever it's called, but they cheaped out and just went underneath. When I originally had it on, I had it on backwards. It didn't look right. If it doesn't look right, it's not right. It's wrong. There's a little bit of a lip here. You can turn these shelves upside down, but I think the lip makes sense. Maybe I did it wrong. I don't think I did because all the verticals are s sitting upright and the bottom one, you know, is flush. That just makes sense because the bottom piece is flat. Anyways, these are really nice shelves. This one's just a tad bigger than the one that I was originally using because I'm running out of space for my movie so I wasn't going to downgrade. You look over here. This is the old shelf I was using. Pretty much the same dimensions. Had this for over 10 years. It's done me well. There's a few things I don't like about it. Now when you're putting the nails on the new one, the nails just go along the edge, which makes sense, right? On this one, they want you to put the nails, sorry for the terrible lighting. This piece doesn't move. They want you to put the nails in the back. So this is loose. Because if you don't hit it right, you chip the shelf. Luckily on the new one, you don't do that. You just line up the back piece and away you go. You do not want to tack these little nails and try to hit the shelf perfectly. Because if you miss, you'll chip it and you'll be pissed. But yeah, so once you put the shelves on, it's, it's very simple. There's a little lip. <clears throat> on these shelves like this little lip and it just slides right on you know you can't screw it up so or laminate or whatever both both ways you know there's not much to it they give you enough stuff um, and you know hand tighten these do not use a gun for that then use a hammer if you need to put a towel over it like I am so you don't chip it just to get everything in place that's uh, pretty straightforward very nice finish I like it adjustable shelves here so you got the one at the top you can adjust obviously you need support in the middle the bottom and the top but the three other shelves you can move around three four 
So there's five, 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 and five. And uh, yeah, very nice unit. Uh, I definitely recommend this. It says it's tested for life, we'll see. Um, but that one that's in my kid's room, that thing is sturdy. I'm pretty sure I bought it at Canadian Tire as well. But over the years they've just updated, made it a lot simpler to build. Maybe cheaper, who knows, time will tell. There you have it YouTube. Thanks so much for watching. So if you came across this video and you have any comments or questions about this bookshelf, um, I'm sure it'll be months later, and uh, yeah, I'll help you if you have any questions. Thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe for more random videos, as I try to upload not so often, and I'll talk to you real soon. Bye for now.